Virtually all industrial processes make use of gases and flowing liquids. To better understand these processes, operators need a basic knowledge of their operating principles. Compared to solids and liquids, the molecules of gases are spaced far apart. Also, there are virtually no cohesive forces between the molecules to hold them together, so they can move around freely. As a result, gases do not have a definite shape or volume. To keep their free-moving molecules from escaping, gases are normally stored in sealed containers. The temperature and pressure of a contained gas are directly related to the molecular motion in the gas. In general, temperature is the relative hotness or coldness of a substance. But at the molecular level, temperature is a measure of the molecular kinetic energy of a substance. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion, so temperature is related to molecular motion. Now, pressure is the amount of force exerted over a given area. Let's consider a particular area of this container. The pressure exerted by a gas results from collisions between the molecules of the gas and the walls of the container. If the number of collisions increases, the pressure also increases. This can be accomplished by compressing the gas or by increasing its temperature. For example, if the temperature of the gas increases, the kinetic energy of the gas molecules also increases. In other words, the molecules are moving around faster. This also affects pressure. For a given area of the container, there are more collisions between the gas molecules and the container walls. So the pressure also increases. In a contained gas, the properties of temperature, pressure, and volume are related. If a change occurs in any one of these three properties, the change will affect one or both of the other two. The ways in which gas temperature, pressure, and volume relate to each other have been formulated into three laws, Boyle's Law, Charles's Law, and the General Gas Law. Boyle's Law deals with the relationship between the pressure and volume of a gas. Boyle's Law states that at a given temperature, the pressure of a gas varies inversely with its volume. So if the volume of the gas decreases, its pressure increases. If volume increases, pressure decreases. We'll use this gas-filled container to illustrate Boyle's Law. We'll assume that the temperature of the gas doesn't change. The pressure in the container is related to the number of collisions between the gas molecules and the walls of the container.